and welcome back to Pop Years. It's 1985. The year first phase Madonna broke into the big time. Seven top ten singles dating Sean Penn and well on her way to becoming the biggest female star the world had ever known. She originally arrived in New York on a dance scholarship and worked for disco star Patrick Hernandez. She also began drumming for the Breakfast Club, her then beau Dan Gilroy's band. Going solo in 1980, she soon became the darling of the New York club circuit. By 1985, the world had a new star. The first time I saw Madonna was in a club on a big screen. There's a huge buzz in New York over I mean, a, a massive buzz about her. She's, she's going to be the next big thing, she's going to be great. Madonna came out of the same underground movement as we did. There was a growing sort of underground pop culture that Banana Rama particularly had really made work. She was just dubbed the queen of pop, really, wasn't she? She was seemed to be very outrageous, very flamboyant. She just had all this confidence and she was very, very sexy. I could see that as a woman, that she was very, she was almost dirty. If you look at Madonna and look at Banana Rama, you see where she got all her ideas from. I mean, the crosses, the boots, the whole thing. I mean, she could have been the fourth Banana Rama. <laughs> Into the Groove, Madonna was really... I really liked that one. No, I'm not a fan of Madonna. She definitely got softball. I've never liked her music. I thought her voice was weak. The Warner executives, they never... They never put the cigars down, they just carried on and the next. And then Holiday comes out, and that's it. The Holiday thing was a very simple Stock Aitken Waterman type record. I remember vividly watching her and bangles and lace and heavy makeup and dark roots and everything and I think, wow, there's something there, isn't there? We've come to have a celebration All across the world In every nation and The track that really nice turned though. me on to Madonna was Material Girl. It was much more easy to market Madonna because she'd get a bra off for a pound. You can't argue with it, can you? It might not be your taste, but you can't argue. We ain't going to get another one of those. She's a, a clever, clever woman, isn't she? She made the major record companies realise that pop music was not disposable bubblegum. I think she's really great at what she does, and I do think she's a source of inspiration as well. I still don't think that she was the kind of artist where you go, oh, what a voice. You know, there was just kind of pleasant pop records. I would describe her as a asylum seeker. I'd love her out of the country. 